to Moses, tell the Israelites to collect gift offerings for me. Receive my gift offerings from everyone who freely wants to give. These are the gift offerings that you should receive from them, gold, silver, and copper, blue, purple, and deep red yarns, fine linen, goat's hair, ram skin, dyed red, beaded leather, a cyan wood, oil for the lamps, spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet smelling incense, gemstones and gems for setting in the priest's vest and chest piece. They should make me a sanctuary so I can be present among them. You should follow the blueprints that I will show you for the dwelling and for all of its equipment. Have them make an assigned wood chest. It should be 45 inches long, 27 inches wide, and 27 inches high. Cover it with pure gold inside and out and make a gold mountain around it. Cast four gold rings for it and put it put them on its four feet, two rings on one side and two rings on the other. Make a sign wood poles and cover them with gold. Then put the poles into the rings on the chest sides and use them to carry the chest. The poles should stay in the chest rings. They shouldn't be taken out of them. Put the covenant document that I will give you in the, into the chest. Then make a cover of pure gold, 45 inches long and 27 inches wide. Make two winged heavenly creatures of hammered gold, one for each end of the cover. Put one winged heavenly creature at one end and one winged heavenly creature at the other. Place the winged heavenly creature at the cover's two ends. The heavenly creatures should have their wings spread out above, shielding the cover with their wings. The winged heavenly creatures should face each other towards the cover's center. Put the gold cover on top of the chest and put the covenant document that I will give you inside the chest. There I will meet with you. From here above the cover, from between the two winged heavenly creatures, there on top of the chest containing the covenant, I will deliver to you all that I command you concerning the Israelites. Make an assigned wood table three feet long, 18 inches wide, and 27 inches high. Cover it with pure gold and make a gold mountain all around it. Make a frame around it that is four inches wide and a gold mount molding around the frame. Make four gold rings for the table. Fasten the rings to the four corners at its four legs. The rings that the house the rings that house the poles used for carrying the table should be close to the frame. Make the poles from a sign wood and cover them with gold. The table should be carried with these poles, making its plates, dishes, jars, and bowls for pouring drink offerings. Make them of pure gold. Set the bread of the presence on the table so it always is in front of me. Make a lampside of pure hammered gold. The lamps that stand, base, branches, cups, flowers, and petals should all be attached to it. It should have six branches growing out from its sides, three branches on one side of the lamp stand, and three branches on the other side of the lamp stand. One branch will have three cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with a flower and petals, and the next branch will also have three cups shaped like almond blossoms. Each of the flower and pe each with a, a flower and petals, so it will be for the six branches that grow out of the lampstand. In addition, on the lampstand itself, there will be four cups shaped like almond blossoms, each with its flowers and petals. There will be a flower attached under the first pair of the branches, a flower attached under the next pair of branches, and a flower attached under the last pair of branches. So it will be for the six branches that grow out of the lampstand. Their flowers and their branches will be permanently attached to it. The whole lampstand should be one piece of pure hammered gold. Make it seven lamps and set it set up its lamps so that they direct their light in front of the lampstand. You should also make its tongues and fire pants out of pure gold. All of these items should be made from pure gold, weighing one kigar. See to it that you make them according to the blueprints for them that you were shown on the mountain.